What is up, ladies and gentlemen, you YouTube? That is right, I am Chris Smith, and I just saw another Scott Eastwood classic. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, I saw Mercury Planes. Now, the basic plot of Mercury Planes, we're just going to get to this as quickly as possible. This is going to seem like a slow review. The basic plot of Mercury Planes is a, 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 a troubled teen, right? A troubled man, as they say. Runs away to Mexico. Him and his buddy kind of go there, and his buddy kind of leaves him, and then he kind of winds up joining this paramilitary group filled with teens and run kind of by this guy from uh, Chronicles of Riddick. Right? That's our basic plot. The problem with this movie, I'm just going to kind of put that out here. One, I didn't like this movie at all. But there is some positives. Don't let me ruin your parade. I don't want to piss on your sunshine. But here it is. All right? This movie's an hour and 42 minutes. This thing just runs on and on and on and on to the point where 20 minutes in, 20 minutes in, I thought we were an hour into the movie. Five minutes in, I kind of decided I really don't give a fuck about this movie. All right? And if I curse, I apologize. Okay? Now, some things that I liked in here, because I did like something in here, or some, some silver linings in this movie is, one, it doesn't look as cheap as uh, Diablo, um, right? Diablo. It doesn't look as cheap as Diablo. They, they film it in Mexico, and that is a better setting than Canada for a Western, just in general, right? And Because I felt like Canada was not the right place to make a Western. For this, and for Mexico, they do a decent job as to actually making a good atmosphere of sorts. They try to go for a thrill element, and I, I don't know if it even works, because the main thing is, I'm going to get to that, but let's stick to the positives. The, another positive is, Scott Eastwood is not acting like Clint Eastwood. Not in here. There's, there's a couple of things where he's kind of holding the gun, and you see the, the poster or whatever, but for the most part, he, he's just acting like Scott. Now, his acting is a bit more better than Diablo, um, and this movie is a bit more slightly put together than Diablo. Diablo was just sloppy, but there's still some negative. So most of the positive is, and it's the same thing, just what I said in Diablo, but this one, I guess, women will probably get more of a kick out of it. If you like Scott Eastwood, he's shirtless in the movie. He's shirtless in the movie, so if you're a woman or you're into that type of thing, no judgments here. But if you're into that type of thing, then go ahead. This movie's for you. Bank on it. Now let's get to the negatives. Because this is where the main problems happen. There's a scene right at the very beginning of the diner. Um, and it's it's um, Scott Eastwood talking to the guy from Riddick. And he's just like, okay, so what do you say? Do you accept my offer? And he's just like, I don't know. And then it's just a, an awkward pause for like 10 seconds. And then the guy's just like, <laughs> and, and it's just a pause. That's it. That's a, That was literally just like the most awkward things. Like they did not have any lines of dialogue to talk about. Some other things is five minutes into this film, I really decided I don't give a fuck about this thing because it, it's it's boring. Even even though Diablo, this thing is so slow and paced to me. To me personally, it is so slow and paced. It makes Diablo look like Mad Max Fury Road. That's how slow it is. And Diablo is slow. I said it myself, but this is just like really, really slow, and I was just, I, I didn't care. The characters, I couldn't, I don't even know anyone's name in this movie, and you know that's when it's bad. When you don't know anybody's name, I'm calling that dude, I'm calling the main guy, the main villain, which I thought he was okay, but I'm calling the main villain the dude from Riddick. That's it. Uh, Scott Eastwood, calling Scott Eastwood. Anybody else? I think when we watch the trailer, they throw the credits by Scott Eastwood. Uh, that guy from Riddick and that girl and I was like you lost me at Eastwood hell you probably even lost me at Eastwood the problem with this movie is just that it's it's slow it's okay I guess if you care about it but by the time it ends by the time it ends you are just like wow that's it he go cuz spoiler alert he goes home that's it he goes home you know he ran away from home and comes back home uh, shit happens, chaos happens. Cause the thing is, you don't even know what's going on. I, I while watching this movie, I felt like I didn't even know what was happening. Like, I, you ever watch a movie where you just like, what the? Why am I watching this shit? Because I, I kind of had to like rethink as to why did I put this on? This was a waste, by the way. I didn't buy it. I didn't see it. I downloaded it. 
shoot me. Shoot me. I downloaded this shit. And my god, was this kind of a waste of time. So if you haven't decided what my actual score is, um, if you don't know my review system, check out my review system, because I feel like some people may not understand what I'm saying, but this thing went long, but by the way, more is long just like the movie, but my, check out the review system for you kind of stamina rating, but another stack of shit from Scott Eastwood. Is it better than Diablo? I guess from a technical standpoint, um, but overall, that's it. Uh, you know, there's, there's nothing to it. This shit is, is boring. That's the biggest sin I think a movie to me can make. It's just making my time feel wasted. That's my review. Yes, nearly six minutes long I'm looking at right now. Comment, subscribe, like if you actually give a shit about Mercury Planes. What, a, what name is that? <laughs> Signing out.